Okay. So why don't you just get why don't you just give us some talking points about him a little bit um that you already know about Mr. Daniel Hill. Oh absolutely I mean the kid the, the dude's a phenomenal the dude's a powerful running back, compacted six feet, about 230 pounds, but he's a compact running back, power running back. Now he doesn't have just the breakaway speed of Kevin Riley. When I look at Kevin Riley, he's just got straight on speed, just straight on burst explosion. But Daniel Hill runs hard from the pads, kind of reminds me of Brian Robinson when B-Rob came in 2017. Just a tough, hard-nosed runner, good in pass protection, not necessarily the straight line burst of speed. He can he can he he can go. He does have a bit of a gear, but it's not like your it's not like your Josh Jacobs, your Kenyon Drakes, your Jameer Gibbs of the world. Kind of reminds me of a, of a, of a bit of B-Rod, but he gives you the power running ability. He gives you the pass blocking aspect. And Daniel Hill, kind of an underrated pass catcher. They threw the ball mm-hmm. and tell you about the back right. quite a bit. And he does have soft hands. He can catch the football. He can tuck it away, turn it, and, and get up and move. So athletic pass catcher, bruiser type guy, does have some speed, not necessarily breakaway. He, he's kind of he, there's not really just one thing. He's an A plus in. He's kind of a B plus, A minus to A across the board, which he's solid. He's solid, just not a guy that you would go, oh my gosh, that's special. But he's solid. See, so there's uh, uh, and I appreciate you saying that, right? Because I sent some messages to JT a little bit earlier saying, okay, what do I think about this? So I I want to. I'm going to come from an angle of this of the valuation piece a little bit. Listen, the guy's a great player. He's coming to Alabama, right? The people spend a lot more time evaluating college players than I do, <clears throat> right? But as a, co- as a high school coach that had a lot of talent on our team and spent a lot of time speaking to college coaches about how they look, I want to be able to talk to maybe the young person who's watching this who's not this type of player and what their uh, highlight films need to look like. There's a difference when you're just doing that, but what you need to have to pique people's interest. So I need for y'all to try to separate that a little bit because when you're the man, you don't have to have all this. They kind of know it. But if you're the one who they're saying you're under-recruited, you got exactly one minute to grab that college coach's attention so you better have some things in your first five plays <laughs> yeah i would say three yes, yes, and, yes. And, and, and that's and, and and that's why guys going back to remember 2016 uh, josh jacobs came late in that 2016 recruiting class out of a mclean high school in tulsa jacobs came late and that was because his recruiting tape didn't come out till late and I remember it, it was Burton Burns who sat down. Shouts out to Burton Burns, by the way. It was Coach Burns who sat down and actually looked at the first five to six plays of Jake of Josh's tape, and he was like, "Who is this kid?" And uh, Burton Burns was the one that said, "Save!" But if you don't get your behind on this plane, Burton was the one that got saved on the plane to go look at Josh because Josh was under-recruited. They had Josh as a three-star, and Josh was just killing it at McLean Tulsa High School. Okay, so one of the first things you got, specifically with running backs, one of the things that you need to be able to show is can you block, right? Whether it's pass block or something else. So when you hit this tape and you see the, the big circle lined up on him, the first thing he shows, he gets up in his DB's, but and just drives a dude back, pancakes him. It's kind of embarrassing. Good Lord. Can you imagine being another dude? Because uh, at first I was like, the running back, <laughs> you know, I was looking at that play on the running back. Um, but then I realized that ain't who I was supposed to be looking at. That's <laughs> on the circle. Uh, but anyway, so he pancakes this dude. So that's the first piece where he actually, yes, where he puts this guy underneath can you radio? Do you first hold on, JT? Thank you for stopping it right here. This guy was on the line of scrimmage. <laughs> yeah, Look, uh, he, he drove him for a first down and then put him in the dirt. 
Yes. Yeah, so if you're talking about toughness and the things that a coach wants to see, and I'm going to try to find that sheet for one of these episodes where I can show you the check boxes that you actually have. Because of, and part of my deal when I was a head coach, I did speak to coaches and I actually was given a sheet of, hey, these are the things that we're looking at and we're scoring, and you got to meet this minimum score before we even um, think about recruiting you. So anyway, this is one of them. Okay. Um, you guys alluded to this on this next play. You can go ahead and um, let it go, JT. The the next play, now, even as a running back, you need to be able to see if he can catch. What is he going to do? Now, this guy was playing um, in the slot. Yeah, they quite a bit. Screens and some different things. So, um, as you can see, he's down here in the bottom. Yep, he was in the uh, – as a number two wide receiver. Now, I like that, um, as Steven said, you know, really soft hands, being able to judge the ball um, and all this kind of stuff. The only thing I would say about this highlight when you keep going into it, not this particular highlight, his real, I'm sorry, is what kind of routes are you actually showing? Mm-hmm. Again, nothing to this. You you know, if you're a wide receiver, you need to show an out to come back and all this kind of stuff. So, it seemed like they kind of threw a lot of goal balls to this guy. He was just going to go out, jump some people. Show he was showing his athletic ability um, as well. Would y'all agree with that? Just I know we're going to show some more tape, um, but that's yeah, pretty and, good and, over and, the shoulder. And, yeah, and for, for 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 a lot of these guys coming out of high school, especially if you are the best player on the team, you know, offensively, they're going to throw a lot of goal balls to you. You're not going to have a diversified route tree. You're going to have a couple of routes quarterback may be good, may not be good at all, but they're going to give you a couple of routes. Just tell the quarterback, hey, man, if, if Junior over there is open, throw the ball up. <laughs> throw the ball up. Let Junior yeah, go look high at, point. Look at your matchup. <laughs> if that – this guy has four or five stars, that guy does it. Just, I don't care what the coverage is. Just throw it. Just throw it. Yep, yep. And they probably should be saying don't kick the ball to him. I know I've well, said that a lot of times. Yes, please don't but kick I do. The ball to him. I do have to dock him some points on this play. All right, all right. What because this kid a... is not supposed yeah. to tackle you. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, especially when he looked like an official way back there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, official, come on, man. You, you, you are. Stuff. This ain't. This ain't Pat <laughs> McAfee. This is <laughs> somebody else. <laughs> and you are six foot two forty. Um, that guy's not supposed to tackle you. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You know, it, it's it's really not that big of a deal. But I would be, I would back. be uh, clowning him on the sideline. That that was something I'd be making fun of him for. So so, ba- so so basically so basically JT, you, you would be telling him, man, you get Steve and M. Smith tackle you. <laughs> oh no! Look, I, I I get to I get to coach returners. Um, and by coach returners, I mean kind of evaluate and then. Just kind of talk shit. Um, I on the first day, the first thing I tell the punt returners is, uh, if you catch a punt and the first guy tackles you, you're fired. And the first thing I tell the uh, the kick returners are, if you catch a kick and you break one and the kicker tackles you, you're fired. I will. There's, <laughs> those are the two things that can't happen. Well, maybe we need to show some highlight reels of some kickers that have actually destroyed some people from time to time. Maybe, maybe you got to put a disclaimer depending on who the kicker is. Okay. Now, 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 look. If you get tackled by Will Riker, I mean, that's Will Riker. You know, mm-hmm. uh, Alabama has officially beaten Auburn. Hip, 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 hip. Uh, All right, then they don't. All right. right. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's good. Okay, so this is another one just where he's. Pass and running straight another up the fade. field. Again, another fade ball, just going up and jumping. Right. So, you know, to me, um, now he's, you remember, he's a running back and they got him lined up out here, wide receiver, and just, just jump balls. Right. So, wow, just literally moss that guy. Yeah. He is. So, you know, again, um, I'm, I'm speaking to a person who hasn't, uh, necessarily made it yet. When you're seeing that, make sure you diversify the early, early parts of your, Deal. So, in other words, which I've been told, you know, if you have a jump ball, you don't need to put another jump ball and another jump ball, and another jump ball, all right behind each other, because they're so. I already seen that, and these guys are impatient, and you got to mm-hmm. remember that there are 
so many huddle tapes and clips. It's not just yours from your one high school, but they come from Texas and Mississippi and California and everywhere else that you better get in what you need to get in in the first few plays. Just like this, showing that. So when I saw this, JT, it made me actually think of the offense that they're going to be running um, at Bama, you know, him taking a handoff, cutting inside. It's a zone. Um, play. Yeah, which is actually quite opposite yeah. of what you'll see from Kyle Hill a lot. <clears throat> yeah, so this is uh oh, I'm sorry. We we, we switched. No, this is uh, I'm, I said oh, Kyle okay. Hill. I meant Kevin Riley. I don't know why I said Kyle Hill. I think that's a YouTuber <laughs> that I watch. You uh, had you had Mississippi State on the mind there, JT. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> yeah, there's another Moss again you know this is where you see athleticism right you line up in the slot you line up in the backfield you're blocking guys down the field you're tipping the ball up with one hand i mean it's just it's unfair uh, you know what he's doing to guys but that's why you get you know oh you're gonna love this comment Mm -hmm. what's that Oh, my God. Who is that? First of all, put your real name on the screen. Don't be coming me with no bad because you get personal now. You know what I'm saying? You get personal. Uh, yeah, you don't know anything about that, uh, JT. But uh, th- that was like our rivalry school. They were very, very good, and they actually used to run. They used to be like the old parish or something where they were just winging, running wing T type of stuff with running backs, and it was, it was very hard to defend. Um, By the way. By the way, can, can I just say how much I hate it going up against the wing T office in high school? Can, can I, can, 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 I can hate I game planning against it. No, 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 no J, JT, see, you hate game planning against it, but I'm going to tell you a story. So before we, before we continue this, so y'all would not believe this, but my junior year playing high school football, my defensive coordinator thought it would be hilarious to put me at defensive tackle. It thought it would be hilarious. So How much did you weigh? <laughs> One fifty. Mm. They put me at defensive tackle, and we were going to get a wing T offense. So they had the sniffer back, which was flanking, which was behind the uh, the right tackle. So every time they put him there, the play was always going to the right. So they snapped the ball. I don't know how I just split through the offensive line. But I split through, find the guy, and you know how they tell you. If you can't make the tackle, just hold on for dear life to the help come. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sitting here, grab the guy. I, I, I'm making the tackle myself now, but my teammates just thought it would be funny to jump on the guy and have me on the ground. I get up off the ground after the play is over in this go against this wing T play, and my defense coordinator looks and goes, Steve actually tackled the guy? <laughs> I'm like, yes, I actually tackled the guy. And, and, and the head coach who's in me at gumshoe is like, who went to tackle? Steve? <laughs> <laughs> My God, it's going to snow. Steve made well, they probably were supposed to trap you, and they probably just said, Nah, don't even block him. Just let him uh, come on through. He ain't going to make the tackle. But that's good. So why don't you give us one more story now because we got this. Uh, tell us oh, about okay. this damn. Tell us about the dog on fly swatter back here. Why you got this fly swatter? Oh, right. Okay, let, so, let me let me go so, full. Let me let me get him on full screen then. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, we, okay. we gotta oh. we gotta understand this. Okay, so so so, so there's there, there's two reasons behind. There's two reasons behind the fly swatter. So there, there there's my reason, and then there's the actual reason. So my reason behind the fly swatter here is I want to bring back the no fly zone defense for Alabama. That's why. <laughs> That's my reason. That's my reason behind the fly swatter in here. The actual reason, we had a fly come in the house and I had to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> this dude here. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? All right, let's get back to this film, man. So he he rolled it. What do we have here, JT? Where, man, you're clicking fast, man. No, oh, we're going the other like... direction. We're going the other direction. Basically, what you're going to see, well, basically what you're going to see out of him, and I like this because this is a different, this is a passing play. He's in the slot again, and he, uh, well, you can just see, he's just running through tackles. Um, Just a physical type guy who can 
catch the ball and I don't know. I, I don't know that we need to go into is too much about him. I think you guys summed him up, right? He's physical. Yeah. I, I wish I would have seen more physical, more physicality like out of this tape. Um you know, yeah. think things like this, uh, you know, if you're you're two hundred and forty pounds, use it. Cause yeah. you know, I I think when you watch um I think when you watch the other when you watch uh Kevin Riley, yeah. you're gonna yeah. see a, a Oh, lot it's punishing. Of, yes. It's punishing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did stop this and so I got into it three minutes. I think I put three minutes of film on here. And I really didn't need to see anymore. I mean, I kind of knew who he was mm-hmm. after that. I think it was a five-minute tape uh, or something of that nature. 